Crimson Tide getting set to open its 111th season of football. 86, 21, and 3 all time in season openers. High, fairly deep kick. Comes down to pro throw at the 5. Looking for a little daylight. He fumbles the football. But Alabama able to fall on it. Royal wants to throw. Wide open. Cadell. Out across the 45, the 46-yard line. Two-time academic All-SEC. All trying to hang that one up high. At the 15-yard line. Henry runs into his own man. Runs into his own man again before he goes down. Over the middle, catch made, tackle slipped, and a first down for the Blue Raiders as Taryn Henry keeps Alabama on its toes. Colby Smith in the punt, he hangs it up high. Beautiful kick, pro throw, back pedals to the 10, bottled it slightly and has some room now. Reverses field and gets ridden down at the 25-yard line. Royal under center as this series starts. Rifles that pass complete. Nice grab by Keith Brown upended. But not before he picks up the first down. Time for Croyle to the near side. Complete again to Keith Brown. Takes it up to the 46-yard line and Keith McLean again slides into motion. Croyle again with time. Will tuck it and run. Dive forward. He's going to be very close to the first down mark. Came up about a half a yard or less shy of the first down. So all in once again to punt. Hangs it up high. Right around the 10-yard line. Chris Henry reels it in. Beautiful punt. is made by Clenard Santiel if it stands good enough for a first down right at the 30-yard line. And his ability to get the ball, like we said, 70%. On the offense, number 73. Still is half the distance to the goal. Replay third down. Tide comes with the blitz. Marks in trouble. Down he goes for a safety. Wheeler will boot it away for the Blue Raiders from his own 20. And Alabama stands to get some pretty good field position here. Pro throw will handle this one at the 22. Tripped up, flags down as he approaches the 40-yard line. During the return, holding on the return team, number 84. Bill is 10 yards, first down. McLean slides in motion again. Swing it out to Darby near side. Makes one man miss. Makes another man miss. Out across the 35, 37-yard line. Allow Darby to elude one tackler and get upfield close to a first down. Third and short. Castile, the jumbo package into the game for the first time. And he will have the first down up near the 40. And he gets the Alabama first down. Play action. Deep drop for Coyle. He loads up. Wants it all again. Brown is down there. Brown makes the catch. No, they're going to say intercepted. They give to Gross. Trying to find a little daylight. He moves the pile all the way out near the 10-yard line. Shotgun for the Blue Raiders on third and two. Quick throws. They try to set up the screen, and it works beautifully. To the 20 yard line goes Clenard Santil, and then he is absolutely flattened by Jeffrey Dukes. Third down and five. Bama fans trying to help out the defense. Get a stop here. Blitz comes. Down goes Marks. Make Alabama adjust. 
low tumbling kick. It checks up as it crosses midfield and will be touched down right around the 48-yard line. Four out of seven, 41 yards in the interception for Brody in quarter number one. He swings that out to Ezekiel Knight. Sprinting down the sideline, bumped out at the 37-yard line of Middle Tennessee. Checking in for Alabama in the backfield. One of those true freshmen, Glenn Coffey, and he's got the ball. Pounds forward inside the 35 to the 34, maybe the 33-yard line. Stays in there now as the lone setback behind Croyle. Right up the gut. Oh, be tripped up right around the 25-yard line. On second and 10, back to the ground game, back to Kenneth Darby. Cradles the football as he takes it inside the 20-yard line. Third down, call it a long three. Boyle over the middle, catch made by Knight. Breaks one tackle, has his first down. They'll give him forward progress to near the 12-yard line. Fresh set of downs. Croyle to throw again. Rifles that one complete. To D.J. Hall inside the 10, down around the 6-yard line. On second down, back to Darby in the ground game. Kenneth spinning toward the first down mark. Very close to it. There's going to be a lot of twists and a lot of pushes going on. Castile didn't like it. Two tight ends, two true freshmen. Castile, touchdown, Alabama. Good protection that time, and he rifles it complete to Santil, who doubles back. Makes his way down the sideline, shoved out, finally around the 43-yard line. Step off, makes it first and 15, though. Pressure. He'll swing it out to Suver, who's got some room. Wrapped up right at the 50-yard line. Give him 13 yards on that pickup. It's second and two. Suver, the inside handoff. Finds some daylight. They'll have the first down as he takes it in Alex. to Alabama territory. Tied again, threatening the blitz, and here they come. Marks unloads, catch made, first down inside the 30-yard line. Bobby Williams, another true freshman. How many true freshmen? It'll be gross. He cuts it back. Finds a little crease and barrels down inside the 15-yard line, and that is good for another. Little Tennessee first down. As Gross stays in there with McAfee in the offset eye. A little fake on the end around, lob into the end zone, and it is caught for a touchdown. McAfee floating out of the backfield. Looks like they faked the reverse. McLean and Darby in the offset on Corey wants to throw. Gun that one to the near side. Complete to Brown again as he'll step out to Blue Raiders' 40-yard line. Fourth and five from the 35. The Blue Raiders creep up to the line. Time, throw, incomplete. Looking for Brown. Give to Gross, slips through the line, rolls forward out near the 45-yard line, and that should be good for the first down. First down, Blue Raiders. Gross in trouble, goes down. A loss of almost five on the play. Mark Anderson knifing through again. Pro throw weights around his own 20. Good protection, good kick. At the 19, pro throw makes one man miss. Spins away from another and picks up another yard or two, but that's it. Nine out of 15 right at the century mark with the one interception. Hand it off to Castile, Alabama. 
playing it a little conservatively here. Not with the great starting position that you would like. And that may very well be the final snap of the first half. Pro throw awaits at his own 35. Beautiful kick that time by Smith. Sends pro throw back to the 27. He finds a little daylight. Cuts it up at the 40. Inside the 30. Still on his feet. Inside the 15 yard line. Doing the return. Illegal block in the back. On the return team, number three. line before he is spilled there. Yeah, Gain of nearly 39. eight oh, yards. Darby again. More running room over that right side. Races inside the 40 down to the 37. A red shirt freshman tied in. Darby again. Daylight on the right side. Ridden out of bounds right around the 20 yard line and that's certainly one of the keys for the second half, Tyler. Darby again, the left time for a change. Spun down inside the 15-yard line. Another nice pickup on first down by Darby. Third down, a long four for the tie. Coyle to the end zone. Pro Short kick this time. Santiel from the four. Straight ahead, out across the 20. Fumbled the football. It's loose. The mad scramble ensues. Bama says they've got it. And they do. McLean in front of Darby in the eye. They run it with Darby, and he will lose yardage. Dropped for about a three-yard loss back at the 23-yard line. A 40-yard try for Saxby. On the way, and right down the middle as flags fly. Illegal formation on the offense. Not enough men on the line of scrimmage. Five-yard penalty. Remains fourth down. Back it up five. This may actually be officially a 46-yarder. Plenty of leg, but no good. He hooked it left. 8.35 to go here in the third quarter, and it remains a nine-point Bama lead. Marks in trouble. Goes down at the 25-yard line. Saunders. No pressure. High kick. Pro throw will call for the fair catch. But good position here. Starting from their own 40. Croyle. Plenty of time. Goes underneath. Completes across midfield to Ken Darby. Quick throw again on the slant. Matt Cadell goes down at the 25-yard line of the Blue Raiders. A bullet that time from Brody Croyle. First down, Bama. Just inside the 25 to the ground game. Darby right up the gut. Tripped up. Tried to keep his feet. The officials are going to step in and say the knee went down. Just inside the 14-yard line. Darby one more time, finds a little daylight, powers his way inside the five near the four-yard line. Up the gut, Darby leans forward, is he in? 
No, they'll say his knee touched before the ball crossed the goal line. The jumbo package checks back in. McLean in front of Castile. And for the second time tonight, Castile finishes off the drive with a touchdown. Blue Raiders need 13 yards. They're just two out of eight on third down tonight. Good protection. Drop it off underneath the sand teal. Makes a couple of men miss. And he'll take it out across the 30 for a first down. Marks in trouble again. Sacked again. Back at the 27. Another flag down, though, on the play. Tyne stands to have pretty good field position. Tyne Wadley kick Boy says get away. Takes a Blue Raider roll. Out of bounds at the Bama 24-yard line. Glenn Coffey checks into the backfield to give Darby a rest as this series gets underway. Quick throw by Coral. Another slant. Another completion. Keith Brown off to the races. Down to the 35. Bama sets up shop officially at the 37. Coral to throw again. He'll swing it out near side to Coffey. He makes a nice grab. Keeps his feet. Lowers his head and barrels inside the 30-yard line. That's a heck of a play by that true freshman. Second down, officially two yards after the eight-yard gain by Coffey, who breaks into motion now. Boyle, quick throw again. Brown hauls it in. He makes one man miss. And takes it down to the 20-yard line. Good for another Alabama first down. At the 21. Castile checks into the game. Coyle, another slant. Another nice grab. Almost behind Matt Cadell, but he was able to reel that one in. Rodney Brown, the trainer, will check on him. Officially a 32-yard try for Ryan Saxby. Kick on the way, and the kick is good. So the 32-yard field goal by Ryan Saxby makes it now a 26-7 Alabama lead. High wobbly kick, fair catch called for and made by Prothrow at the 38-yard line. That's not an easy play. He was on the dead run. That borders on Gaudy. Johns again. Slide outside. Markers are down. And so they moved him to running back. On the offense, number 76. Still is 10 yards from the previous spot. Remains second down. Wilson threw for 3,821 yards as a senior in Alabama. High school record. Hand it away to Johns again. Straight up the gut. Johns barrels across midfield. He'll check out, catch his breath. Coffee in there, giving ground, losing ground. They'll mark him down, back across midfield, all the way back at the Alabama 44-yard line. Deep drop for Wilson, in trouble. He loses the ball. And a heads-up play by Justin Moon, the sophomore. Tyler just mentioned, falls on that loose ball. six-minute mark. A running kick. Hey, I don't know if he felt pressure, but it's going to work out all right. Almost like a rugby kick. I'm not sure if he mishandled it, felt a little pressure. Colby Smith, the punt again, four and a half minutes to go. D.J. Hall in to return this punt. Backs up to the five-yard line. High formation behind John Parker Wilson. Coffee once again. Straight ahead running out across the 10 near the 13-yard line. That'll leave him about three yards shy of the first down marker. Alternate plans have been made for both schools. It's, it's really been an amazing thing to watch all this week. Coffee on third down. Dives forward and will have the Alabama first down. Johns fights forward in 23. 
Picks up about five yards. Pressure, but all able to get it away. A flag will come down. Personal foul. Rough the kicker. Our Mayfield number five. Bill is 15 yards. Automatic first down. Player of the game. Royal and Company have a scoop on us. <laughs> That'd be a bad night for it. It'd be a violation, wouldn't it? <laughs> you are correct. John Parker Wilson takes a knee, and that will do it. Season opener in the books. A good night for the Crimson Tide. Not a perfect night when you see Freddie Roach in street clothes, but if you're Mike Shula, certainly glad to be 1-0. You cross your fingers that none of the injuries are too serious. And you get set for what is Tyler Watson. You know as well as anybody what is basically an SEC game when Southern Miss comes to town. No question about it. Southern Miss always plays Alabama tough, and I'm sure that next week will be no difference. Mike Shula, Andy McCollum, exchange handshakes in midfield. The Tide 1-0 after the 26-7 win over the Blue Raiders.